Hi. These vegetables look good. Uh, and a crate of potatoes, Great. too. National flag must be displayed in a place of prominence in all Christian public places. And the churches have to do it. Where is Pastor Shui? He didn't come. Uh, he's not here yet. What did I tell you last time? The national flag and portraits of Chairman Mao and Chairman Xi must be hung in all churches. Why aren't they? Get them up soon. Director Xi, the Constitution doesn't say we have to hang Chairman Xi's portrait. Isn't displaying an atheist leader's image asking us to worship idols? Exactly. I feel the same The way. Bible says we can only worship God, not idols. So you... I don't care what it says in the Bible. You believers in China have to follow national policy and the government's orders. If you don't hang the chairman's portraits, like the government says, you are breaking the law, and your church will be closed. What? Mr. what? No. We haven't broken That's the law. Who gives the government that right? Exactly. They're right so about reasonable. that. Pastor Shui is here. Hello. Pastor Shui is here. Pastor Shui is here. Director Xi, it's not that we don't respect national policy. The church is a place of worshiping God. It's not appropriate to hang the chairman's portrait. This isn't the great hall of the people. That's right. That's right. Now imagine if foreigners came and saw portraits of national leaders in the church and went and told others. Wouldn't that harm the Communist Party's great and honorable correct image? Chairman Xi doesn't believe in God. He believes in Marxist atheism. You party members can worship him like God if you want to. We worship the Lord Jesus. And you shouldn't limit our religious freedom. Exactly. 
Hanging the portrait is a hallmark of synthesized Christianity. Other churches have it up, and you have to do the same. This is nationwide. And doesn't it say in the Bible that those in power are established by God? You must obey those who are in power. This is also obeying God. You must understand that. What churches abroad display pictures of their national leaders? That's right. Yeah, who does that? Isn't this an absurd demand? I just can't believe this. That's right. Yeah. I don't care what churches do abroad. Having faith in China means hanging Chairman Xi's portrait. This is national policy. Churches that don't are all sealed and banned. Go hang it up. Go on, now. Director Xi, this isn't an urgent matter. I need to discuss this with everyone. No. If it's not done today, the church will be closed. On what, what? basis? This is tyrannical. It's true. That's not okay. Hurry it up. This is ridiculous. Hang it up now. Pastor Shui. Right now. Do? Hang it higher. Come on. Straight up. Just sit down. It's fine. Hang fine. it up. I'll do it right now. Pastor Shui. We can't hang this thing. Yeah, we can't do that. This is an offense to the Lord. It is. The government wants us to. What choice do I have? You can go. I'll do it. Hang it, unless you don't care if we close. Hang it higher. Straighter. It's still cooking. Weren't these hymnals confiscated? Do you sing the national anthem here? Yes, of course. All right. Then sing it right now. Let's hear how well you sing it. Sing it. Right now, sing! Brothers and sisters, sing along with me. Let's all sing with Pastor Sing Shui. together. Sing. You sing along too. Not loud enough. Again. Pastor Shui, we're flying the flag and singing the national anthem. We're talking about the spirit of the 19th National People's Congress and Xi Jinping's thoughts. This is ridiculous. Is this still belief in the Lord? No. No. Isn't this just belief in the Communist Party? Yeah. Yes. The party's demolishing churches and taking down crosses. They're arresting and persecuting Christians. They want to fully eradicate Christianity. Exactly. Exactly. And we've just submitted to them. 
Isn't that being foolish? Right. 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 We just I, I think we brought this on ourselves. I joined the Three Self Church in the first place because I was afraid and timid. I thought it would let me believe in the Lord Jesus, that I'd have government protection. I never thought the Communist Party was just buying itself ties. Exactly. Never mind taking down crosses. Now we have to sing the anthem, raise the flag, and hang Xi Jinping's portrait. The CCP is finally showing its ugly face. It's true. They're using religion itself as a vessel to eliminate faith. It, it is. is. It's exactly right. You know, she's right. We have become Communist Party slaves. When I sang, rise up, those who would not be slaves, inside me, inside I felt a rage rise up like a fire. Yeah, we, we should felt stand it. up and refuse to be the Communist Party slaves. We have to say no to them. Right. Yes. We won't be slaves. They can't do that. Give to them us. an inch and they'll take a mile. They've bullied us to this point. They're trying to wipe out our faith. Exactly. exactly. If I can't practice my faith at church, I'll do it at home. With services like this, I'm not coming anymore. This Let's go. Brothers and sisters. Grace. Brothers and sisters. I understand how you are feeling. But my hands are tied. What is the Communist Party? An atheist revolutionary party. If you don't listen, they won't just put you in prison. They'll actually kill you. Look at all those house churches. All they know how to do is bear a cross. They would rather do time than join Three Self. Yes. Especially Eastern Lightning. So many have been sentenced or crippled or killed from beatings. Does the Lord really approve of that kind of faith? If you're persecuted to death before you gain life, does that glorify God? Can you enter the kingdom of heaven that way? We hide under the three self church because we have no other choice. The Lord Jesus teaches us, be you therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. When we raise the flag and sing the anthem, we are being wise. The Lord sees inside our hearts. As long as we don't deny his name or betray him and stay strong to the end, we will be saved. Yes. Amen. Pastor Shui is doing all this so he can protect the church. If this church gets shut down, where are we going to gather? I think we should all listen to him. We need to be wise in dealing with the CCP. There is no other way for us to save our church. Worshipping idols here in the church is an offense to the Lord. That's exactly what it is. Pastor Shui, obeying the CCP is a mistake. How about we consider the house church path? Wait, what? Consider being a house church? That's a dead end. You want to do time? To believe in the Lord from a jail cell? That's foolish. All right, thank you. Here, I'll take a screen protector. <laughs> Crazy times we live in, huh? The churches have the flag up now. Yeah. yeah. The other day I passed a Buddhist temple and I saw the monks carrying around a flag and doing a flag raising ceremony. They even saluted it. <laughs> okay, ready. <laughs> We've sunk to worshiping the king of devils and Satan in our church. If this goes on, 
and the Lord returns, can we be taken up into the kingdom of heaven? Since joining Three Self, it's been one wrong step after another. Slow down. The hunter came to the forest and all the animals ran away. But two were caught. They didn't get away in time. Guess which ones? The tortoise? Right. Guess what was the other one? I don't know. Silly. It was the ostrich. Why was it the ostrich? Because ostriches are cowards. They stuck their heads in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> This is a nationwide policy. All the churches in the country have to take down their crosses. If you don't take it down, we'll tear down your church. What gives you the right to do this? Why are you taking down our cross? Enough. Tell me why. Sit down. Not loud enough. Again. Brother Mong, Brother, Brother Song, good to see you. Welcome. We were at an impasse, and so we had to go. We've all heard. Religious affairs is forcing churches to raise the flag and sing the anthem. I imagine that you could never accept that. Yeah. The CCP made us join Three Self, and I couldn't compromise. You may laugh at me. I joined out of fear, I admit. But the flag and the anthem, how is that belief in the Lord? Yeah. I could deal with forbidding us from preaching revelation or receiving the Lord's return, but they want us to worship the king of devils. I just can't accept that. Thanks be to the Lord, you finally awakened. Practicing faith in three self means you're Satan's puppets. Satan controls you. Yeah. Here, have a seat. The CCP's claim of religious freedom is just to deceive people. Its demonic face is revealed. If we still can't wake up, are we really people of faith? It violated our consciences. Mm -hmm. I finally see the CCP is truly hateful and does resist God. I won't be enslaved by Satan right. anymore. Being in three self means believing in name only. You don't follow the Lord. I feel the Lord has already cast us aside. So I have to take the house church path. Well, it's not too late. In the house church, you are all welcome. Thanks be to the Lord. Thanks welcome. be to the Lord. Ciao soon. What are you up ah, to? Just uh, buying some fruit. Oh. Come on out. See you. So long. Master Shui. Today I saw Meng Chung Lin at the Brother Song baptism. Hi, 
Grandma. Brother Mung, you're home Hi. really Hi. soon. Hi. Pastor Shui. Uh, oh. I was nearby and your thought I'd visit hurt? your mother. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Xiao Yu, go do your homework, okay? Mm. Okay. Xiao Yu, come go on. on. I'll we'll help be good you. girl. We'll be good girl. We'll go inside. <laughs> Chang Lin, the house church path is not easy. Shun Zi's uncle was in a house church, remember? What was his sentence? Ah, uh, seven and a half years. Exactly. Haven't you seen the way things are going? The CCP wants to eliminate all house churches. If you were to join one at a time like this, that's like digging your own grave. It sure is. Can't you think of your mother <coughs> and daughter, if not for yourself? Yeah, think about it. If we hadn't joined Pastor Shui and Three Self all those years ago, we'd have been arrested by now. We might be able to save our skins that way, but can we gain life? The Lord Jesus said, he that finds his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. House churches are persecuted so much but they won't yield to Satan. They keep their faith and follow the Lord. It's the same path the saints took through the ages. Think about Eastern Lightning. I don't know how they ever got started, but I've heard they're suppressed and persecuted by the CCP, and they still spread the gospel and bear witness. Look at their path, and then at our situation. It's pathetic. The three self-churches are indoctrination centers for Xi Jinping's thoughts. Will the Lord accept us when he comes back? I always feel the great disaster is right around the corner. As if the Lord has just abandoned us. Aren't we just following their policies so that we can keep them off of our backs? Yeah. Besides, taking the three self path and obeying the regime has a biblical basis. How could that be wrong? What does it say in Romans 13, 1? Let every soul be subject to the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. By doing this, we are in line with biblical teachings. Pastor Shui is right to lead us down the three self path. It accords with the Bible. Pastors are established by God. If we leave pastors and elders behind for some house churches, the consequences are unimaginable. That's right. If we do that out of fear of arrest and imprisonment, because we fear the forces of Satan, we may save our skin but we're controlled by the king of devils. We bow down to it. Is that glorifying God or shaming him? If we worship Satan in our church, we're clearly offending and betraying the Lord. Why can't you see that? Chang Lin, just listen to us this once. So many people have died in the CCP's crackdowns. Why do we believe in the Lord? Isn't it for peace and safety? <coughs> Mom?
Chang Ling? Ji Hong? When did you get back? Just recently. It's no wonder I couldn't find you. You were in hiding out of town. I wasn't just evading arrest. I've also been at some house churches the last few years. I've been pretty busy, so I haven't come back. Uh. Hey, so tell me, how are things here? Don't even ask. At three self-church services. It's just some shallow talk of the Bible. You can't gain anything. Now we have to raise the flag, sing the national anthem, and worship the king of devils. It's become a communist party indoctrination center. If we don't go back to the house churches, we'll become atheists ourselves. Well, I guess I'm just too stubborn. The CCP leaves me no choice. I can finally see the demon's ugly face. After more than a decade in the Three Self Church, I haven't gained a thing. The pastors and elders have really harmed us. You've finally woken up. This is a good thing. Have a seat. The Lord Jesus said, And he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. We've all read these words plenty of times. But how many people can truly take up a cross and follow the Lord? Think about it. When the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, why so many Jewish people refuse to follow him? Wasn't it fear of being arrested? Judaism back then was just like government-managed three self-churches we have today. At the time, it was recognized by the Roman government and not persecuted. But what happened in the end? They were all abandoned by the Lord. But those who followed the Lord Jesus, who forsook everything for that, they belonged to the house churches of those days. They suffered a lot of persecution, but gained the Lord's salvation and understood some truths about faith. They learned how to follow the Lord and bear witness and had God's blessings and guidance. With three self, is it really faith and following the Lord? They have to listen to the CCP in everything, even help the CCP monitor house churches. They know they should worship the Lord Jesus, but they raise the flag, sing the anthem, and obey the CCP. This is humiliating for Christians. In this city, over 40 believers have recently left their churches and joined house churches, thereby escaping government control. This is a very serious problem. It really is. And I must stress again, the religious personnel of every church are to enhance education regarding our religious policies. It is essential to grasp every believer's ideological trends so that we can understand the changes in their thinking and promptly carry out relevant political thought work. We must guide them patiently and carefully out of theism and have them believe in science and the party. So over time, they come to love the party and the country. Only then can we completely eliminate religious belief, transform China into an atheist nation, ensure that all Chinese will trust and love and forever follow the party to achieve the goal of ensuring the party's eternal rule. Thinking back on it now, we really did stray from the Lord's way. We only listened to the pastors and elders and obeyed the CCP's policies, but didn't remotely obey the Lord's words. We betrayed the Bible's teachings at every sure. turn. We really have resisted and betrayed the Lord. Now I've learned a lesson. In faith, we should listen to the Lord's words and follow him, not listen to or follow people. The path taken by the saints of the past was correct. If we don't take up the cross and follow the Lord, we aren't fit to be his disciples. Yes. I've known these verses for over a decade, but this is the first time I've understood that the Lord's words are the truth. Yeah. 
When we follow the Lord, we're persecuted and arrested by Satan. But don't underestimate that whole experience, because there are lessons in that. When we rely on the Lord and let Him guide us, we can see God's deeds, understand His will, and see how He leads and saves His people. This is why going through suffering and trials is actually God's blessing. Tell me, if we fear arrest and imprisonment, if we crave comfort and safety and live ignobly, can we ever gain the truth or the life? Can we ever gain God's approval? We must forsake Satan, escape from his bondage, and follow the Lord with full faith to feel peace and joy in our hearts. Yes. By doing this and welcoming the Lord based on his words, we find the path. Am I right? Yes. yes. Thanks be to God. Master Shui. Yes, sir. We've heard that certain people in your church are quite opposed to the government's religious policies. We already know who all of them are, and we are investigating the situation. It would behoove you to help us ascertain the issues with these people. But don't be passive. Yes, Chief. It's true that there were two people who wouldn't listen, but the problem has already been resolved. Be assured that I'll cooperate with your work. I'm warning you now. If something like this happens again, you won't just lose your church, but you will lose your career as a pastor. Chief, I assure you, nothing like this will ever happen again. <laughs> That's good to know. Going to a house church can't be done lightly. You need to get permission from Pastor Shui. Why would we need that? He's hanging the flag and worshipping the king of devils. He's dooming himself. We listen to him. Brother Monk, I'll go. Okay, see you later. Going to a house church is right. It's our own fault for being cowards at the start. Brother Leon. Go on. Hey, hold up. Tell me, where do you live? Hey, Xiao Zhang. Hey, you worked your way. We've noticed strangers in your alley a lot lately. Whose house are they going to? Uh, whose house? Hey. Now you've clearly seen Satan's evil face. You feel singing the anthem and worshipping the king of demons shames and betrays the Lord. You want to leave the Three Self Church. These issues are not simple. The pastors have their own reasons for taking the Three Self path. But as to whether we have to follow them in doing so, whether this accords with the Lord's will, if he will approve of it or not, we just have to seek the truth and pray to the Lord. Without a basis in the Lord's words, if we choose based on human wisdom and views, we'll likely take the wrong path. It's human nature to seek comfort and avoid suffering, especially for the Lord or to gain truth. No one wants to die for the Lord. The moment we experience persecution, we become Judases. We sell out the Lord and the church. What are the consequences? So when choosing a path, we need to seek the Lord's will. Otherwise, if we blindly follow people, isn't that just foolish? Yes. Yeah. In the age of law, God said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Proverbs also says, but fools die for want of wisdom. Amen. Amen. If you want to gain the truth and life under communist rule, you need to risk your life and offer your life in trade. Without true faith, can you ever follow the Lord? You can only live ignobly on the three-self path. And if there's a hint of blessings, 
you run after the pastor to believe in a church. This reminds me of the prophecy in Proverbs. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But I don't understand. There's biblical basis for the pastor leading us down the three-self path. Plus, pastors and elders are established by God. How is it wrong to follow them? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Whether pastors and elders are established by God isn't determined by the words of man. We have to go by the word of God. Did the Lord Jesus ever say they're established by God? Did the Holy Spirit ever say that? No. When the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, it was the religious leaders who worked to resist and condemn him and who nailed him to the cross. Right. If the pastors and elders lead us down the right path to follow God with the work of the Holy Spirit, there's nothing wrong with following them. But if they lead us to surrender to Satan and worship the king of devils, can you still say they're established by God? Isn't this blatantly misleading and harming people? That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most pastors in religion are graduates of theological institutes. They're professional theologians who rely on theology for their paychecks. They aren't followers of God at all. Most pastors and elders only believe in science, not in divine miracles. Some don't even acknowledge the divine conception of the Lord Jesus. They are simply non-believers. Especially pastors in three self. Some of them are professors at communist schools or Marxist-Leninist institutes. And still others research the Bible for the united front. Most of them are party members. Or if they're not, they're party agents. These people call themselves pastors, and the party plants them in every church to interpret the Bible. Can you really say they're established by God? They are established by the CCP. How could anyone say it was God? If we say pastors established by the CCP were established by God, that obeying them is obeying God? Isn't that blasphemy? Aren't we twisting the facts and confusing good and evil? Right. That's so true. These people adulate status and influence. They're greedy for life and would rather obey a clearly satanic regime just to preserve themselves. Can we really obey such false shepherds? We can't. We, can't. we just can't. Right. You should all think about this because it's really serious. It concerns whether we can enter the kingdom of heaven. I agree. Yes. Yes. This yeah. is really important. Yes. The pastors and elders really are hypocrites. False shepherds submitting to Satan's forces. We've been confused for many years now. We thought they were established by God and blindly followed and obeyed them. Exactly. We thought that obeying them was obeying God. We were blind. We didn't understand. It reminds me of the Lord's words. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. As believers, we must listen to the Lord Jesus' words and follow him. We can't be deceived by false shepherds into worshiping the king of devils. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Lord Jesus said, Not everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. So how do we follow the Father's will? We need to listen to the Lord Jesus' words and practice accordingly. Only that is a follower. If we listen to the CCP and follow false shepherds, are we doing God's will? Aren't we blatantly resisting and betraying God? Yes. 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 This fellowship is really enlightening. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jaylene, open the door. It's the neighborhood committee. The neighborhood committee. What? Quick. Who is it? Everyone go hide in the back. Yeah. Hurry, hurry. Not so much noise. Ling, open up. <laughs> Chairs. No, no, no. Careful, careful. Okay, okay. 
Director Wei. Cheng Ling, what on earth is going on? I didn't hear you first. You've had visitors, haven't you? Oh, a few friends came over for a bit. They're gone now. They're gone? Yeah. Huh. What kind of friends were they? Believers, weren't they? <laughs> Some brothers and sisters from the church. They came to visit my mother. Ah. Uh -huh. Thought you quit the church and started having home gatherings. No one's here. <laughs> Would you look at my cat's timing? Chain lean. <laughs> Staying with three self is the right choice. If you start holding private gatherings at home, that's against the law. That's right. Huh. Okay, let's go. No need to see us out. They're gone. It's not safe to hold gatherings here. Let's find somewhere else. How about my house? Sure, sure. Everyone leaves separate. Stay safe. Take care. Yes. See you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Xi'an, hmm. in the years you've been gone, you've come to understand a lot. How do you see things so clearly? Yeah, yeah. I didn't dare tell you before, but now you've seen 3Cell for what it is, so I can tell you. In the last couple of years, I've accepted Almighty God. Huh? You believe in Eastern Lightning? Yes. And I came back to share the good news with you, and everyone. <laughs> well, look at you. Come, tell all us right. all about it. As believers, we all await the Lord's coming, but how should we receive Him? We need to listen for the Holy Spirit's words to the churches. It says in Revelations, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. How many times is that repeated? Um, seven times. Why is it repeated so many times? To remind us that the key to receiving the Lord is to listen for God's voice. Come on. That's so true. This really is new ice. Stop, stop. Everyone look happier. Try to put your hearts into it, okay? It's almost National Day. Officials will be by to see us perform. If we look miserable, we'll spoil the National Day mood. So let's spoil it then. I'm done singing. Why are we doing this? Come on, let's just make it good enough. Yeah. I still have work to do at home. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll do it just one last time. Just once more. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's just get, get it, come it on. over. The last time. Stand okay, up. ready? Almighty God says, God's 6,000 year plan of management is coming to an end, and the gate of the kingdom has already been opened to all those who seek his appearance. Dear brothers and sisters, what are you waiting for? What is it that you seek? Are you waiting for God to appear? Are you searching for his footprints? How one yearns for the appearance of God and how difficult it is to find God's footprints. In an age such as this, in a world such as this, what must we do to witness the day on which God appears? 
What must we do to keep pace with the footsteps of God? Questions of this kind are faced by all those who are waiting for God to appear. You have all considered them on more than one occasion, but with what outcome? Where does God appear? Where are God's footprints? Have you got the answer? Some impulsively believe that wherever the Holy Spirit is at work, their God appears. Or else they believe that wherever there are spiritual figures, their God appears. Or else they believe that wherever there are people of high reputation, their God appears. For the moment, let us leave aside whether such beliefs are right or wrong. To explain such a question, we must first have a clear objective. We are searching for the footprints of God. We are not seeking spiritual figures, much less are we pursuing figures of renown. We are pursuing the footprints of God. For this reason, since we are searching for the footprints of God, it behooves us to search for God's will, for the words of God, for His utterances. Because wherever there are new words spoken by God, the voice of God is there. And wherever there are the footsteps of God, God's deeds are there. Wherever there is the expression of God, there God appears. And wherever God appears, there the truth the way and the life exist. Amen. Amen. These Thanks words be to God. are wonderful. Yes. Wherever there are new words spoken by God, the voice of God is there. Wherever there is the expression of God, there God appears. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever we do hear the voice of God, haven't we received the Lord? Right. Waiting for the Lord before, we only listened to the pastors and elders. We didn't know to listen for the Lord's voice. Yeah. How could we have been so foolish and ignorant? Uh-huh. Yes. Right. yes, I would agree. He's yeah. so right. So what else did they say? They said, most three self-church pastors are communist party agents. and that they're established by the Communist Party, not by God. People like Brother Meng and Sister Fung are our most important co-workers and give regular offerings. We would sustain a huge loss if they left the church. Almighty God says, I was once known as Jehovah. I was also called the Messiah. And people once called me Jesus the Savior with love and esteem. Today, however, I am no longer the Jehovah or Jesus that people knew in times past. I am the God who has returned in the last days, the God who shall bring the age to an end. I am the God himself that rises up from the end of the earth, replete with my entire disposition and full of authority, honor, and glory. People have never engaged with me, never known me, and have always been ignorant of my disposition. From the creation of the world until today, not one person has seen me. This is the God who appears to man in the last days, but is hidden among man. He resides among man, true and real. Like the burning sun and the blazing flame, filled with power, and brimming with authority. There is not a single person or thing that shall not be judged by my words, and not a single person or thing that shall not be purified through the burning of fire. Eventually, all nations shall be blessed because of my words, and also smashed to pieces because of my words. In this way, all people during the last days shall see that I am the Savior returned, and that I am the almighty God that conquers all of mankind, and all shall see that I was once the sin offering for man, but that in the last days, I also become the flames of the sun that incinerate all things, as well as the sun of righteousness that reveals all things. This is my work in the last days. 
I took this name and am possessed of this disposition so that all people may see that I am a righteous God, the burning sun, the blazing flame, and so that all may worship me, the one true God. Amen. Amen. And so that they may see my true face. I am not only the God of the Israelites, and I am not just the Redeemer. I am the God of all creatures throughout the heavens and the earth and the seas. Amen. 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 Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. God. Yeah. Uh, Those words have so much weight. Right. The bad news! The police are here! The police? What? The police? Now what? what do we do? How did they find what us? Do? All right, don't panic. This is a private resident. Why did you hit him? Now get on the ground. Hurry, this way, this way. Come on. Be so awful as to report us. How horrible. They'll get what they deserve. It's safer in the church. All right, let's go. If Meng Changling comes back, tell him to come to the station. are looking everywhere for you. Go hide out in our hometown. If anyone violates church rules again and receives strangers without permission, especially Eastern Lightning people, or dares to listen to their sermons, don't blame me for being harsh. The moment you're found out, you'll be expelled. These last few days, Pastor Shui has been forbidding us from investigating the true way and from having contact with people from Eastern Lightning. He said that anyone who does will be expelled. Everyone feels constrained now, and no one dares to investigate. Christ of the last days brings life and brings the enduring and everlasting way of truth. This truth is the path by which man gains life, and it is the only path by which man shall know God and be approved by God. If you do not seek the way of life provided by Christ of the last days, then you shall never gain the approval of Jesus and shall never be qualified to enter the gate of the kingdom of heaven. Those who wish to gain life without relying on the truth spoken by Christ are the most ridiculous people on earth. And those who do not accept the way of life brought by Christ are lost in fantasy. And so I say that those who do not accept Christ to the last days shall forever be despised by God. Christ is man's gateway to the kingdom during the last days, and there are none who can go around him, none 
may be perfected by God except through Christ. You believe in God, and so you must accept His words and obey His way. You cannot only think of gaining blessings while being incapable of receiving the truth and incapable of accepting the provision of life. Christ comes during the last days so that all those who truly believe in him may be provided with life. His work is for the sake of concluding the old age and entering the new one. And his work is the path that must be taken by all those who would enter the new age. If you are incapable of acknowledging him and instead condemn, blaspheme, or even persecute him, then you are bound to burn for eternity and shall never enter the kingdom of God. For this, Christ is himself the expression of the Holy Spirit, the expression of God, the one whom God has entrusted to do his work on earth. And so I say, if you cannot accept all that is done by Christ in the last days, then you blaspheme the Holy Spirit. The retribution to be had by those who blaspheme the Holy Spirit is self-evident to all. I also tell you that if you resist Christ of the last days, if you spurn Christ of the last days, there will be no one else to bear the consequences on your behalf. Furthermore, from this day onward, you will not have another chance to gain the approval of God. Even if you try to redeem yourself, you will never again behold the face of God. For what you resist is not a man, what you spurn is not some puny being, but Christ. Do you know what the consequences of this will be? You will not have made a small mistake, but committed a heinous crime. And so, I advise everyone not to bear your fangs before the truth or make careless criticisms, for only the truth can bring you life. And nothing except the truth can allow you to be reborn and behold the face of God again. Oh, oh, amen. Amen. Almighty God's words are invaluable. Yeah. We live in such a prosperous, democratic, civilized, and harmonious country and freely worship God in such a stable social environment. I'm so grateful for this. This is God blessing China. Amen. Amen. So we must love country and church and glorify God and obey the Central Committee. We must contribute to the goals of the 19th National People's Congress and pray for the strength and prosperity of the nation and the health of all of our people. Amen. 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 Come on, work day's over. Okay. For, for you, it's a hundred. There you go. Okay. See you bye. next time. It's our turn now. When Jesus came into the world of man, he brought the age of grace and ended the age of law. During the last days, God once more became flesh. And when he became flesh this time, he ended the age of grace and brought the age of kingdom. All those who accept the second incarnation of God will be led into the age of kingdom and be able to personally accept the guidance of God. Though Jesus did much work among man, he only completed the redemption of all mankind and became man's sin offering. 
and did not rid man of all his corrupt disposition. Fully saving man from the influence of Satan not only required Jesus to take on the sins of man as the sin offering, but also required God to do greater work to completely rid man of his disposition, which has been corrupted by Satan. And so, after man was forgiven his sins, God has returned to flesh to lead man into the new age and begun the work of chastisement and judgment. And this work has brought man into a higher realm. All those who submit under his dominion shall enjoy higher truth and receive greater blessings. They shall truly live in the light and shall gain the truth, the way, and the life. Everyone, hurry up! Hey, slow down. Watch out. Be careful. Careful. It's crooked. Hang it higher. Tilt it to the right. Director Shi. No need. Take it. <clears throat> Pastor Shui. Yes. Holding the National Day performance in your church is a very significant event. Indeed. Do you know what this means? It means that our party's sinicization of Christianity policy is more and more welcomed by the people. Where the people's hearts go, there go we. <laughs> it also reflects most believers' love and genuine support for our party. The bureau chief, Mr. Ma, considers the ceremony at your church to be very important. I hope you know you cannot let him down in this. Of course not. I promise you. The ceremony will go off without a hitch. As it should. Obeying and following the party is the only thing you should do. Almighty God says, in the last days, Christ uses a variety of truths to teach man, to expose the essence of man, and to dissect the words and deeds of man. These words comprise various truths, such as man's duty, how man should obey God, how man should be loyal to God, how man ought to live out normal humanity, as well as the wisdom and the disposition of God, and so on. These words are all directed at the essence of man and his corrupt disposition. In particular, the words that expose how man spurns God are spoken, in regard to how man is an embodiment of Satan and an enemy force against God. In undertaking his work of judgment, God does not simply make clear the nature of man with a few words. He exposes, deals with, and prunes over the long term. These methods of exposure, dealing, and pruning cannot be substituted with ordinary words, but with truth of which man is utterly bereft. Only methods such as these can be called judgment. Only through judgment of this kind can man be subdued and thoroughly convinced into submission to God, and moreover gain true knowledge of God. What the work of judgment brings about is man's understanding of the true face of God and the truth about his own rebelliousness. The work of judgment allows man to gain much understanding of the will of God, of the purpose of God's work, and of the mysteries that are incomprehensible to him. It also allows man to recognize and know his corrupt substance and the roots of his corruption as well as to discover the ugliness of man. These effects are all brought about by the work of judgment, for the substance of this work is actually the work of opening up the truth, the way, and the life of God to all those who have faith in Him. 
This work is the work of judgment done by God. Amen. Amen. If you do not regard these truths as important, if you think of nothing but how to avoid them, or how to find a new way out that does not involve them, then I say you are a grievous sinner. If you have faith in God, yet seek not the truth or the will of God, nor love the way that brings you closer to God, then I say that you are one who is trying to evade judgment, and that you are a puppet and a traitor who flees from the great white throne. God will not spare any of the rebellious who escape from under his eyes. Such men shall receive even more severe punishment. Amen. 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 Thanks, Thanks be to God. Where's Xiao Chen? Come on, hurry up. Coming. I'm coming. waiting for you. I'm here. Get okay, ready. That's the Shui. This is the program. We start with the anthem, followed by the dance. They're practicing here. Then there's a choral performance of Always with the Party. Then we have crosstalk and comedy skits. And last, the chorus will sing Party, My Dearest Mother. If you'd like any changes at all, please let us know. Let's move Party, My Dearest Mother up to here. And put Always with the Party at the end for the finale. Of course. I'll change it right away. All right. Is everything safe? Safe so far. Brother Xiang and the rest are inside. Go on in. In many places, God has prophesied that he will be gaining a group of overcomers in the land of Sinim, since it is in the world's east that overcomers are to be gained. So, the place where God sets foot in his second incarnation is, without a doubt, the land of Sinim, the exact spot where the great red dragon lies coiled. There, God will gain the descendants of the great red dragon so that it is thoroughly defeated and shamed. God is going to awaken these people heavily burdened with suffering to rouse them till they are fully awake and make them walk out of the fog and reject the great red dragon. They will wake from their dream, recognize the great red dragon for what it really is, become able to give their whole heart to God, rise up from the oppression of the dark forces, stand up in the east of the world and become proof of God's victory. Only in this way will God gain glory. Amen. Amen. This is, this is wonderful. wonderful. Thanks, be Thanks, be Thanks be to God. God. I love that passage. I love Let's that read passage. more of Almighty God's words. Sure. Okay. Have you ever accepted the blessings that you were given? Have you ever sought the promises that were made for you? You will surely, under the guidance of my light, Break through the stranglehold of the forces, the forces of, darkness. of darkness. You will surely not, in the midst of darkness, lose the light guiding you. You will surely be the master of all creation. You will surely be an overcomer before Satan. You will surely, at the downfall of the kingdom of the red dragon, stand up amid the myriad throngs to bear witness to my victory. You will surely stand firm and unwavering in the land of sin. Through the sufferings you endure, you will inherit my blessings and will surely radiate my glory throughout the entire universe. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. These words are the truth. My God. Did you hear? These words are the truth. Come on. Oh, get in there. Wonderful. Yeah, meatball, yes. brown sauce, yeah, it's, 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 it's
All of you have been working very hard on our rehearsals. Oh, it's nothing. The Religious Affairs Bureau is happy with our work. To the success of tomorrow's performance, let's make it happen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Let's make it happen. Cheers. Let's sing a hymn of God's words together. Great. Okay. It's come to Zion with praising. We learned a couple days ago. Great. Thank you. 